Hello, welcome to Bible Great TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Paul Kagame In 1994, Rwanda came to spotlight for the wrong reasons. The 1994 Rwanda genocide. This story has been played out in big Hollywood movies like Hotel Rwanda and sometimes in April. It made one man popular, Paul Kagame. He commanded the rebel forces that ended the genocide. Kagame was the country's de facto leader when he served as vice president and minister of defense from 1994 to year 2000. This former military leader is currently Rwanda's president having taken over from Pastor Bizimungu when he resigned in year 2000. Some quarters described him as the most impressive among the repressive African leaders. Kagame was born on the 23rd of October 1957 in Tambui, Rwanda, Urundi a village located in what is now the southern province of Rwanda. He was the youngest of six children. His father was from the royal family of Susi tribe. Kagame's mother, Asteria, was a descendant of Rosalie Gikanda, the last Rwanda queen. Kagame was born when Rwanda was a United Nations Trust, and at the time of his birth, the tension between the Tusu and Hutu tribes had gotten to a breaking point. Kagame's family was caught up in the crisis and had to abandon their home seeking refuge first in a faraway northeast of Rwanda before crossing over to Uganda. They finally settled in a refugee camp in Toro sub-region in 1962. Paul began his former education in a school not too far from the refugee camp, where he and other Rwandan refugees were taught English as they began to blend into Ugandan culture. Kagame had always been the small kid with a smart head. At nine, he moved to Ranguru Primary School and finished as the best kid in the district. He continued at entire school, which was one of the best schools in Uganda, but the death of his father affected him and his academic performances. As his academic performances declined and he became aggressive, picking up fights in the name of protecting his Rwandan heritage. He was suspended from Ontari and later finished at Hold Kampala Secondary School. After some time, he felt it was time to visit his country and he made two visits in 1977 and 1978. During his visits, he reconnected with former classmates and family members. In those visits, he kept a low profile to avoid being arrested because of his Tusi heritage. In the late 70s, Kagame reunited with a friend he met at the refugee camp, Fred Riwagema, who had just returned to Western Uganda. While he was away, Fred had joined the army of Yoweri Museveni with the intentions of overthrowing Idi Amin's government. After he was defeated, Fred inspired Kagame and other Rwandan refugees to pledge allegiance to Museveni. It was during this period that Kagame trained under the United States Army Command and General Staff College, USA. Museveni was not happy with the 1980 Uganda general election won by Milton Obote, and he had to withdraw from the new government with his followers. This was the beginning of Ugandan Bush War. Museveni formed a rebel group, National Resistance Army, NRA, where he recruited Kagama, Fred, and 38 others to overthrow Obote's government. The reason Kagame and Fred joined the rebel group was because they needed the military experience to return to Rwanda and fight for their people. Kagame, who specialized in intelligence gathering, became very important to Museveni's army and he promoted him to a rank close to him. They emerged victorious and Museveni became president in 1986. Kagame and Fred were appointed as senior officers. These two Rwandan refugees began building a network of Rwandan Tutsi refugees within the army's rank. Museveni was criticized by the then Rwandan president in 1989 for appointing refugees to senior positions in his army and he had to demote them. Because of this change, Kagame and Fred accelerated plans to invade Rwanda through Rwanda Patriotic Front RPF. Fred became its leader and they invaded Rwanda in 1990, which led to the country's first civil war. Kagame had to take up the responsibility of leading the Rwandan Patriotic Front when his friend Fred died in the war. By 1993, the rebel group controlled most parts of Rwanda and there was a consensus. A ceasefire was negotiated, but the assassination of President Juvenal Habyarimana sparked the Rwandan genocide. Hutu's tribe started killing and within a short period, they had killed between 500,000 to a million to see. Kagame couldn't stand the killings of his people, so he resumed the civil war and he succeeded in ending the genocide. In 1994, 
Kagame became the vice president and began to rebuild the country with the help of other officers as he controlled the national army, maintaining law and order. In 2003, after a peace pact in Rwanda, there was to be presidential elections and RPF nominated Kagame to run for his full term following his three years transitional presidency. And in September 12, Kagame was sworn in and began his seven years term. For Kagame is 1.88 meters tall. If he was not a military man and politician, he would have made a good athlete. His net worth is said to be over $500 million. On 10th of June 1989, Kagame married Jeanette Inyiramungi, who was a Tusi living in Kenya. They have four children, Siamoro, Angel, Ian, and Brian. What's your take on Kagame as a leader? Let us know in the comment section. We love reading your comments. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.